Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a few of you guys ask me how we get the two-tone anodizing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you just that. The other day we did this green color on the clip, so I'm going to use that instead of the blue, and I'm going to change the bronze to a gold. So I'm going to get this cleaned up with some acetone. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've got everything wiped down with acetone now. And I'm not going to go too much into the process of actually anodizing because I've showed you guys this in a couple of the other videos. So you can go back and check those out. But in this video, I will show you that since we're doing a part that needs to be fully submerged, we're going to have to actually put nail polish on the detent ball. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now you can see I've got just a little bit of nail polish on the detent ball. And then give that a few minutes to dry. You really just want to make sure that there's enough nail polish to cover up the stainless steel. Because anything that isn't titanium is going to screw up your anodizing process and it's also going to screw up your detent ball so make sure that you put the nail polish on the detent ball just so everybody fully understands that mistakes happen to everybody when i first started i put these in and actually i did this one first okay and I didn't wait long enough for my nail polish to dry and it popped off in the bath. So if that happens to one of you guys, make sure you pull the piece out immediately so you don't do any damage to your detent ball, okay? The second problem is, as you can see, I have two pieces that are completely different colors. Originally, I thought that I didn't need to take it down to bare titanium, but I found out quickly that that's not the case. Without taking it down to bare titanium, this was the only color that I was able to achieve. I couldn't get it all the way to the green. So after a little bit of fiddling, I realized that I'd need to use the wink, take it down to bare titanium, and then re-anodize. So that's what I did. I achieved the color I was looking for. Now we just have to do it to this piece, and then I'll show you how the rest of it goes. Okay, we've got our piece down at the bare titanium there. Now that we've got it anodized to the highest voltage color that we want, you gotta start with your highest voltage. You can always re-anodize to a higher voltage, but you can't re-anodize to a lower voltage. Okay, so now that we've got our highest color, which is the green, now we take some sandpaper or a sanding block, and then you just want to gently sand your flats. You don't have to completely sand them. You could leave it like that, all right? So just some of the anodization is off, all right? And then I personally want to take all of it off. Now you wanna be careful not to sand the edges because you wanna keep the edges the color they are. So when you're done sanding, this is what they're going to look like. Alright, just the flats sanded. Now you're going to want to take acetone and wipe those down really, really well. And then get ready to re-anodize. For the gold, I believe it was 6, 9 volts. We will get these wiped down with acetone and we'll re-anodize. two-tone green and gold if you like what you saw here today if you could like this video it really helps the channel out and if you want to see more of these type of videos please subscribe to the channel guys i just got a facebook and 
Instagram and Twitter page rolling. Got all the social media going, so if you could, head on over there. If you want to see in-depth on how to anodize titanium, check out some of my other videos. I've got two other titanium anodizing videos, and I will link those at the end here and in the description. That's all I got on this one, guys. Stay sharp. See you on the next video.